I'm just one of millions, maybe hundreds of millions of people who in their own way will find some way to say thank you and goodbye to Billy Graham. Uh, when I was 11 years old, 60 years ago, my Sunday school teacher, a wonderful man who drove a bread truck for his day job, took me and another couple of kids in our class to War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock, Arkansas for Billy Graham's crusade. I was so excited. The year before, Little Rock Central High School had been integrated. The town was in the state were in turmoil. And the White Citizens Council tried to get Billy Graham to preach to a segregated audience. And he said that uh, God didn't see us that way. And if that were going to be the rules, he would have to cancel the crusade and tell people why he did it. And they folded quick. And we had an unusually significant number of African Americans there that week because they all knew too what stand he had taken. And when he gave the invitation and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people came down in tears together, it had a profound effect on me. I never knew if I'd ever get to meet Billy Graham. I just was a kid. Then 30 years later, he came back to Little Rock and I was the governor. And he had had a long relationship with the man who was the pastor of my church who didn't have long to live. And he wanted to go visit him, so I took him to visit him. Not before a vast crowd, but in a tiny living room of a Baptist preacher with a very modest income. I listened to him talk to an old friend about faith and life and death. It was also one of the most uh, memorable experiences of my life. Hillary and I were glad to have him in the White House a couple of times, but mostly I was glad to see that in that little room, he was the same person I saw when I was 11 at that great big football field. He showed his faith by his works and by his life. And uh, for me, every time I think about him, I'll be 11 again. So thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thank you.